So imagine stumbling upon a creature so huge it could dwarf even the largest known marine animals today. Scientists discovered the fossils of this beast on England's coast and believe it once ruled the waves. The new species was named Ichthyotitan severinensis, but thankfully for me, scientists nicknamed it the Little Stock Monster. Its estimated lengths range from 72 to 85 feet long, almost as big as a blue whale. Megalodon can't even compare to this. It was only about 60 feet long. And what's crazy is that this fossil we found wasn't even an adult. So who knows what their actual size was? The first piece of the Little Stock Monster was discovered in 2016 in the Westbury Formation. Researchers found a 3-foot-long jaw part that belonged to an unknown species. For years, this single fragment had been driving them crazy because they had no idea what that animal was. Then, in 2020, a miracle happened, of sorts. A father with his 11-year-old daughter found the second piece of fossil on a beach. This discovery led to more findings. Finally, in 2022, the last piece of the literal jaw puzzle was found, buried along the Somerset coast. This leviathan belonged to the Shastasaurid family. Both the Lilstock monster and other Shastasaurids had one ancestor. So all the species in this family are super similar to each other. For example, all of them were the largest marine reptiles ever to exist. Although our little stock monster is much larger, most Shastasaurids could grow up to only 69 feet long. And it's possible that the little stock monster, when fully grown, would reach up to 100 feet or even more. Both of their bodies were just perfect for cruising the ancient seas. These marine titans were elegant and slender, with an elongated snout. Other marine animals at the time were smaller and looked more like dolphins. Shastasaurids had long paddle-like limbs adapted for efficient swimming. Their skulls show large eye sockets, which means they had excellent vision. If you were in the ocean, no matter what time it was or where you were hiding, they could spot you. They were also incredibly fast and could dive to great depths. Of course, all these things made them the most terrifying predators. They ate pretty much everything, including fish and squid, and you if you were there. They probably captured their prey like whales, opened their huge mouths, and literally sucked the fish in. What made the little stock monster especially scary is that it wins in the jaw competition. For other Shastasaurids, their jaws were a bit weaker, so they hunted smaller fish, kind of like today's orcas. They required vast amounts of food. This shows us that the Earth's Triassic oceans had rich, productive food webs. But the little stock monster has this unique feature. It could open its jaw almost 90 degrees upwards. It also had tons of powerful muscles around. Its jaws were horrifyingly strong. So while others were hunting some squids, the little stock monster probably hunted large fish and even other marine reptiles. Fossils of Shastasaurids have been found everywhere in the world, from North America to Asia. This means that these creatures dominated and terrorized the oceans for millions of years. Although even they weren't completely safe from scavengers. And that's exactly why we struggle to find these fossils now. Scavengers didn't leave any remnants of them. So while we have some fossils of this marine family, they mostly remain a mystery for us. They lived in the oceans about 200 million years ago, in the late Triassic period. The Earth looked completely different back then. All continents were united in one Pangaea, a huge landmass. Some parts of this supercontinent were covered with lush conifer forests, while others were dry deserts and open prairies. It was before the famous Jurassic period, but there were already first pterosaurs and amphibians. It seems like those monsters were crazy resilient. The Triassic period was super unstable, but they survived through many changes in the environment. Well, until the last one. The Triassic extinction came out of nowhere. It was one of the Earth's big five extinction events. It wiped out almost all species on the planet, including these leviathans. It's still not clear what happened exactly, but it looks like there was a huge tectonic activity. Volcanoes in the oceans were going crazy back then. These massive volcanic eruptions have probably altered the climate and ocean chemistry, leading to the extinction of many species. Scientists have a theory that it might have happened because there was a rain of comets flying to our planet from the Oort cloud. This likely happens about every 200 million years or so. 
I wasn't around then, so I'm just guessing here. In any case, after the extinction, the Earth took some time to recover. Then it entered the famous Jurassic period. More terrifying sea monsters were on the way. One of them left us a colossal skull. This fossil is 150 million years old, and it also belonged to a sea beast from Jurassic times. They called it the Sea Rex. The name is very fitting. This monster could have broken a car in half with one bite. It was also discovered accidentally. A fossil enthusiast was walking along the Jurassic coast. This place is famous for having tons of ancient fossils, all because of the erosion and stormy weather. Typically, people find small spiral fossils here. However, this time, he discovered a giant sea monster fossil. Excited, he contacted scientists. They arrived at the spot right away and then had to carefully climb down a cliff to search for the rest of the skull. This fragment alone is 6.5 feet long. Turns out, it's a newly discovered species of pliosaurs, giant predators of the ancient seas. Pliosaurs were among the largest marine predators ever. Some of them grew up to 40 feet long. They used their huge teeth to snatch and devour prey, including other reptiles. Well, at least those creatures are far gone. But what about the horrors that still live in our oceans? Recently, biologists discovered the world's longest animal, the one that's still alive to this day. They found it off Australia's coast, on the Gascoigne Coast, a very mysterious and unexplored place. There, underwater vehicles stumbled upon a frightening, 150-foot-long siphonophore that's twice as long as many blue whales and three times as long as a humpback whale. Doesn't it kind of look like one of those toy string worms? But this creature isn't friendly at all. It's a string-like deep-sea predator. What's even more scary is that this isn't actually one creature. It's a colony of small clones working together as one. Basically, collective consciousness. Ooh, bored. Together, they stretch out like a single long string in the water. This creature might be the longest siphonophore ever found, and it was discovered at a depth of around 2,000 feet. Siphonophores, similar to jellyfish, capture their prey by dangling stinging tentacles in the water. When their tentacles touch small crustaceans and fish, they get paralyzed and then they're reeled up to the colony's body. Expeditions to Western Australia's underwater canyons were definitely worth it. Together with that siphonophore, scientists have discovered up to 30 potential new marine species. Among them were a new octopus or squid, a long-tailed sea cucumber, glass sponges, and giant hyroids, colonies of animals resembling upside-down jellyfish. None of them have been seen before in Australia. But most of them weren't as scary as the one that was recently discovered in the Gulf of Mexico. This creature is straight out of a sci-fi thriller. A 26-foot-long manga pinna squid, or big fin squid. It was discovered near an offshore oil rig at a depth of more than 7,800 feet. It has incredibly long, elastic tentacles, which can be 15 to 20 times longer than its body. It holds them at right angles to its body, making it look even creepier almost as if it has elbows. And yes, it's another deep-sea predator. These 10 tentacles probably help the squid trap their prey and drag it onto the seafloor. We barely know anything about this extraterrestrial-looking creature because they're very hard to find and study. And if you think their tentacles are awful, just check out these creatures with 20 arms. This thing looks like a face hugger. This new species is lurking in the frozen depths of Antarctica. Experts were searching for cryptic sea animals known as Promachocrinus, or Antarctic feather stars. They're kind of similar to starfish and sea cucumbers, but have an otherworldly appearance and can live up to 6,500 feet below the surface. It's called the Antarctic strawberry feather star. Despite its pretty name, its appearance is anything but cute. It has a bizarre strawberry-like body from which 20 spindly arms branch off. Its coloring ranges from purple to dark reddish, and the arms all have different lengths and thickness. Ooh. Who knows how many more of such scary creatures we'll discover in the future. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.